Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Wolf, not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. We're going to be talking about a unique little caveat here. Is SGA, this is directly from a red book, used as part of your initial adjudication? So element one of the five-step sequential process is substantial gainful activity, SGA, used as part of the initial adjudication process to go ahead and make blind individuals ineligible. Let me read the quote here. We do not use SGA as a factor to determine initial eligibility for SSI benefits if you are blind. No, they don't. What is SGA? $1,170 for a regular disabled person, but for a blind person it is $1,950 a month. They don't look at that element right up front when considering uh, whether or not you are blind, not just disabled, but blind. And because of that, what that means is that uh, the first step isn't really considered as part of the five-step sequential process, which means that somebody could be earning more than $1,950 per month, be adjudicated as blind, and then they'd have to look at it, as opposed to it being the first element before they cut it off and send you a rejection letter, because you would be ineligible since you were earning as just a regular disabled person $1,175, as opposed to you know $586 a month. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. $1,170 per month for a disabled person? Uh, $1,950 a month? I mean, it's, that's nothing. That's, that's hardly anything. That hardly even covers the rent. I know. I know. Financially, I know. The dollar isn't worth much at all. Everything costs a whole lot more. I know. But I'm not here to change the law, at least today while I'm sitting in my boat. I am here to just educate you guys on the basics of this stuff because I'm so tired of being pissed about hearing stupid things that non-legal representatives have told other people. Let me give you an example. People that used to work for the Social Security Administration that went out and started representing people, they pick up bad habits somewhere along the line. Sore representatives, not enough training, they pick up bad habits somewhere along the line. Um, people that worked under attorneys and then go out and do their own thing, pick up horrible habits somewhere along the lines. Um, I'm doing these videos as educational tutorials to teach you guys about the correct law, and I even do videos about the stupid things that I hear that really piss me off because they're hurting real people that believe them. So anyway, that's why I create these. We'll keep going through these so that you understand more about this legal system, all right? My name is Attorney Walter Smith III. I'm with Disability Resolution PA, Orlando Orange County based Social Security Disability, Disability Law Firm. If you want the most up-to-date information, a customized video about a particular topic, or dot, 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 uh, a free consultation, that's fine. Shoot me an email or give me a call, and we will go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.